Hello everyone and welcome to the last session of our discussion of problem solving, a topic in mathematics in the modern world. So during the first session, we discussed Polya's four steps in solving problems. The second session, we discussed solving problems by working backwards. The third session, we discussed problems by looking for a pattern. In the fourth session, we discussed problems to be solved by drawing a picture or a diagram. In last session, we discussed solving problems by making a list or a table. Our last set will be on solving problems by guessing and we'll solve some recreational problems as well. Let's start with our first example. Fill in number 1 to 6 in the circles so that the sum of each side is 10. Fill in number 1 to 6 in the circles so that the sum of each side is 12. So this is the figure and we're going to put numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the circle. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 circles. So that the sum here, here, and here is 10. We'll also do it for 12. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so here's the scenario. We have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then here, we are going to put the numbers so that the sum on the sides will be 10. So let's try out some numbers. So let's try... Um, let's try to make it 10, no? So we have something, we need something bigger. So let's try 6 here. So for 6, we need, we need, we cannot have a 5 because that's going to be 11. We cannot have a 4 because that's going to have, uh, that's going to be 10 already. So it should be 3. Let's try 3. And so we're, there's no choice but to put a 1 here. Okay. But we we are faced with a problem. What we what do we put here? It's already six. And the three and the one is already here. So our only choice is two. But if we put two, we need a two here, but there's no more numbers left. So meaning six, we cannot put six here. So using the same argument, we cannot put six here also and also here. So meaning we must put six here. Okay. So this is what uh, guessing and checking means. We try to guess where is the location of something or we try to guess a solution and we try to check if our answer uh, matches the problem. Okay, so now, if this is 6, uh, what do we do? The only partner for 6 is 3 and 1. So we must put 1 or 3 somewhere. So let's put uh, 1 here and let's try to put uh, 3 here. Now what do we do next? We try to figure out uh, what numbers can be added to 3 so that it becomes 10. So, um, we can try 5, right? We can try 5, so we can put a 5 here. And if we put a 5 here, we must put a 2 here, right? Okay. So, if that is 2, then this should be 4, but 1 plus 4 plus 2 is not 10, so meaning... We cannot put a 5 here, right? So, we must try to put the 2 here and put the 5 here. And luckily, our number is now complete and now correct. Here we have a 10, here we have a 10, and here we have a 10. Now, on this side, we must have sums of 12. Sides must be 12. So again, let's let's again try number 6. Okay, so what numbers can be added to 6 so that it becomes um, 12? Well, um, we can try 5. It's going to be 11, right? And this one will become 1. Okay. Okay, but if we do this, uh, what numbers can we add to 6 so that it becomes uh, 12? So what else is there? So there is still a 4. And there's still a 4. So there's this should be 2. Unfortunately, this should be 3. And this could become this will become 6. So that's not gonna work. Okay. So maybe um maybe um the 5 here should not be here. Maybe the 5 here should be here. Let's try that. 5 here and let's hide 1. 
because 1 is a small number and so it doesn't contribute much to the sum. So let's put it here. Okay, so 6, 1, 5. Let's again try uh, 2 here and 4 here. And this time we have, ah, oh, we are now correct. So guessing guessing uh, allows us to to find another way if we fail, and and if it's correct, then we're, sometimes we we just get lucky, and and that's actually a skill in mathematics. But the important thing is that learning from your mistakes and learning from your error, and from there we try again, we try until we are able to solve the problem, just like just like this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Caldita has 50 liters can, a 50 liter can and a 30 liter can. How can she measure exactly 40 liters of water using this two? Okay, so this is our scenario. There is a 50 liter can here and a 30 liter can here. Our, our goal is to, to, to make a 40, to make a 40, 40 liters. How can we measure 40 liters? Huh. Hmm. Actually, the idea here is to try out what do we do if we fill 50 liters with water? So, fill it up with water. What happens? So, it has 50 liters. Okay. So, what if we put the 50 liters, the contents of the 50 liters, in the 30 liters? Well, this becomes 30. And what happens here? Here it becomes 20, 20 liters. But that's not, that's not enough, isn't it? Hmm, what do we do? Since there are no other containers left, meaning uh, our strategy must be wrong. What if we put 30 on the other side? We put water here, we put water here, fill it up, and then put it here. On the other side therefore this one will have 30 so this one will have this one will have 30 liters so this will have 30 liters 30 liters inside so 30 liters there okay and then what if we put some water again right and fill this up what happens well this one will become 50, this one will become full, right? But this one will have 10 liters of water. So what do we do? What do we do is we throw away this 50, 50, and then throw the 10 liters again to the other side. And what happens is that this one will have 10 liters, right? And finally, Put some more water here, it becomes 30, and put it here, and it will become 40. So this one will become 40. Okay, so uh, let's trace again uh, our strategy that was mentioned earlier. So first, what we do is um, put some water here, here, and then put it here, right? And then, right, put some more water here, and then put it here again, fill it up, and then fill it up. Then this will have 10 liters of water, and then throw away uh, the 50. Throw away the 50. Let's throw away the 50. Let's throw it away. Okay. Then, then what we do is that... We put the 10 liters here, and this one will have 10 liters, right? Okay, and then finally, we again put some 30 here. We again put some 30, 30, and this one will now have plus 30, which is 40 liters, 40. Liters. And there you have it. That's how we obtained this. That's how we got uh, 240 liters. Okay, so our, our last problem is this one. 
use for force to make an expression that is equal to 10. Oh. Okay, let's make let's make use of uh, this one. Um, let's delete everything. We're going we need uh, to use for force. So this is a four, this is a four, this is a four, this is a four. Let's try to guess and check. If we add this one, four plus four, eight. Hmm. We need a, we need a, we need um, a two, but there's no way to get a two here. So addition must be the wrong thing. Uh, how about we try multiplication? So 4 times 4 gives us 16, and then we subtract 4. 16 minus 4, 16 minus 4 will give us 12, right? And then we need a 2. How do we get a 2 here? Well, let's try square root. Oh, sorry. Square root. Square root. And then we subtract it also. So this one gives us a 10. So that's 4 times 4, 16. Minus 4 is 12, and minus the square root of 4, which is 10. Okay, so that's how uh, that's how we can do it. But how, how about 15? Our next problem is that use 4 fourths to make an expression that is equal to 15. How about we try it again like that? Um, sorry. Let's try 4, 4, 4, and another 4. Let's again try multiplication. 4 times 4 is 16. We just need to subtract 1. And how can we do that? Well, let's divide here and put a subtraction. This one will give us 15. And checking our answer, we see that the rules of uh, PEMDAS, we need to multiply these two first and we need to divide these two first. So 4 times 4 gives us 16, and 4 divided by 4 gives us a 1. So 16 minus 1 gives us 15, and we know that our answer is correct. Okay, so that ends our um, lecture, and as usual, we have plenty of examples for you. Here you're asked to find this area here. This one is very popular. I'm sure you know this. You just need to connect these dots so that uh, you can only use four lines. Similar to our exercise, uh, exercise earlier, example earlier, you just need to put uh, an operational symbol here so that it becomes 100. Here you just need to count the blocks. And here you just do a sodoku so that every 3 by 3 square will have the numbers 1 to 9. And finally, something similar to the... To the uh, the 30 liter and 50 liters of water earlier. This time it's a timer. So I hope you learned something. Here's our reference. And as always, just ask questions to your teacher. And I hope you learned something in our lecture. So goodbye.